Can you believe that it's been nearly two years since I stepped into the world of selling Ocean templates and digital products? And to celebrate that, I want to share with you the four main lessons that I wish I had known when I started out. So since I started, I made many mistakes. I've tried so many things. I tried different social channels. I tried so many things. So if you don't know me, my name is Leticia. I've been selling Notion templates and other digital products since 2022. And I am so excited to share with you what I've learned along the way and some lessons that I wish I had known before. So if you like this type of content um, about digital products, creating freedom and creating a business that you are obsessed with it, make sure you subscribe so you receive more videos like this. So let's go to the first lesson that I've learned, which is embrace failure. Uh, when I started selling my Notion templates, of course, I put a lot of work on it, especially because I was working full time. I had to sacrifice many things and because I was sacrificing things and I was putting a lot of work on it, I also had higher expectations. And when I launched my templates, they didn't quite did so well as I was expecting it and it took me months to make my first sales and months nearly a year to start making consistent sales so even though i spent hours like creating my template and i thought they were perfect they will sell really well it didn't quite it, that wasn't quite what happened so instead of giving up because i wasn't getting the results that i expected i kept trying and i kept experimenting with different designs, with different templates, and especially sharing the templates that I was using myself. And as I started treating this as an experiment, not as something that had to sell, had to make money as quick as possible, I the journey became much easier for me and much more fun as well. So the first lesson is failure is not a the opposite of success failure is part of success so when you are before you have something that is really successful a product that goes really well you're gonna have to try and fail many times and this is where most people give up so instead of giving up when you're not getting the results stick with it learn with what's not working and in, keep improving and this is what's gonna lead you to your success the second lesson I learned is about quality over quantity. So when I started, just as you are doing now, I went to YouTube and I was researching and learning a lot about digital products, selling Notion templates and selling on Etsy in general. And I used to see so many Etsy coaches and other coaches uh, recommending to add more than a hundred products. And this is what was gonna make you be successful on Etsy. This used to make me so anxious because I knew this was like impossible for me because I was working full time uh, for the NHS in the emergency department which was very like hectic and this might apply to you as well maybe you have a nine-to-five job or maybe you have a kid you are stay-at-home mom so you ain't got time to do like a hundred notion templates and launch that I even tried to launch like one template a week once but I couldn't stay on it for more than two months and then I was like completely exhausted I couldn't do anymore but then I actually realized that it was not about the quantity it was about the problem that I was solving with my templates and the value that I was delivering with that template and this helped my business tremendously made more sales and these customers they were happy with the templates because they had real value they were high quality and I got reviews I even got 
customers that started buying like my templates and they bought my courses my simplifying notion course the passive income academy and they are now on my high-end uh, program and this was just possible because i was delivering value with my templates and i wouldn't be able to do that if i was doing in massive like quantities by myself it's not about how many products you throw out there is about the impact each template makes. All right, the lesson number three is 18 month experiment. Uh, give your project 18 months. It comes from Michelle Raw. Michelle Raw is the founder of Secret Hour Society. She was like the first course that I bought about selling digital products. And after I did her course, it completely changed my mindset. And I remember her saying about this 18 month experiment, which basically is give your project, whatever you're working on, maybe it's a business, maybe it's your Notion template shop, anything that you are starting, give 18 months to experiment without expecting like massive results so that's what she says it takes 18 months to you to get to your breakthrough and before that you need to experiment you need to allow uh, give yourself room to try different things and don't put like too much pressure on the business this is what i see a lot of people doing they start and they expect that to make a full-time income like in three months and they want to quit their jobs and leave and all the things and this is the reason why i never completely quit my job in the hospital even though when i started making like a full-time income i didn't want to be like doing contracted hours because i wanted more freedom that's the main reason why i started my business but i decided to continue in the hospital doing with a zero hour contract and i'm i'm so lucky to be able to do that because before i used to work full time i couldn't choose like the time that i want to work the days i wanted to work i was like doing contracted hours as like everyone does and I was doing night shifts, day shifts, holidays, everything. And I decided to quit that contract when I started making very consistent uh, monthly income selling my digital products. But I still continued with a zero hour contract, which allows me to work like when I want to in the hospital. So if I want to work tonight, today, or on the weekends, which I normally like, I try to do that a few times a month. I go and I can just book and go and work and I get paid for the hours that I work. So this is something that even though it sounds like counterintuitive, it has helped me a lot because it takes the pressure off the business and it makes it more fun as well because you're not putting the pressure on the business, this new thing that you don't even know what it is yet to pay your bills. Is like the same thing as you having a baby and you expect the baby to uh, when the baby is six months you expect the baby to pay all the bills and this doesn't happen so the lesson here is to give your project at least 18 months to try and experiment lower your expectations enjoy the journey and embrace this experimentation phase. All right, that's the last one. This is the last, but I think it's one of the most important lessons that I've learned, which is fear is your compass. So basically is following the fear and using your business as a way to overcome yourself, overcome your own barriers, your own fears and evolve in yourself. So the way that I see my business is um, personal development journey, but this is like much harder. It's like therapy plus 10. It's like if you've ever done therapy, you know how hard it is. But building a business is 10 times harder and all your fears are gonna come to the surface. You are going to try to sabotage yourself every day and this is like the most important thing that i had to do to overcome and actually grow my business so my biggest challenges when i was starting out was imposter syndrome and my self-doubt i was always like doubting myself am i good enough to do this do i need to be a consultant do i need to do a course do i need to do a qualification my mind was like coming up with 
reasons why I was not good enough to do to sell my Notion templates and this was stopping me from getting started and continuing like selling Notion templates. So the fear and this self-doubt was always there when I launched my first product, when I launched my first online course, whenever I want to do something that is new, there is like a massive fear, a massive barrier that I need to overcome. But instead of letting this fear paralyzes me, I decided to go through, even though I was scared, even though it was super, super uncomfortable, I decided to launch my courses. I decided to launch my Notion templates. Of course, it was not like everything together. It was like, okay, I'm gonna launch this. I know this is scary, but I can do it. And I was like one step next to the other. And that's what led me to where I am now, where I am able to choose what I want to do, where I have a full-time income from something that I absolutely love to do. And I, I am so glad that I had the courage and I did even though I was scared. And every time that we are going to do something new, this is gonna come up, all these fears are gonna come up. For example, when I decided to start my TikTok account was something that was really hard for me. I didn't show my face for months. I was just like doing a faceless account and when I decided to show my face it was like an entire process like to work on it. It was so fulfilling to see that there is actually people interested on what I have to offer and what I have to say and all my experiences. So this is like keeps motivating me to like overcome this fear and keep sharing things. Even your comfort zone, it's painful, but one thing that I understood as well is that it's also painful to stay in your comfort zone because it was painful for me to stay working on a job that I know that I don't want to be doing long term, that I know I'm not going to have freedom, that I know I'm going to have to work until the day I die to have the money and all these things. So the comfort zone sounds like good because it sounds like oh it's comfortable it's something that you already doing you know how to do it but nothing grows there so the lesson here is everything you want is on the other side of the fear so if you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you dream about selling your own ocean templates and selling digital products but you feel like completely overwhelmed and you have no idea where to start make sure you join the waitlist for the Passive Income Academy. I, I open the academy a few times a year so you have the chance to join and there I teach you exactly what I did to grow my Notion shop and start selling my digital products and reach a full-time income like from my digital business. In the academy I show everything that I've learned so far and things that worked for me and I also give you a PLR template gallery, which basically is uh, templates that you can customize and resell as your own. So you can start your own Notion shop quicker. Academy, you learn exactly how to get started selling your Notion templates. You get PLR templates that you are allowed to customize and resell as your own on your shop. You learn how to market and we have monthly coaching calls where you can ask me any questions. And yeah, I hope I see you inside. I'll leave the link in the description and I hope I see you on the next video. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.